Lunar Art Friends. Today we are going to draw longevity noodles. Yeah, to celebrate Lunar New Year. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by drawing our bowl. And we're going to draw it right here in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw the letter U. And I'm going to draw kind of a tall bowl too, just for fun. So we can draw a funny face on it. Yes. And then right here in between, we're not going to connect the sides of the bowl yet. We're going to draw a curve though. So we'll leave a little space and then we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then we're going to come up and then we're going to leave a little space here too. Now we're ready to draw the longevity noodles and are they short or long? Long. Yeah, they need to be long so that we can have long life. So we're going to draw big loops and we're going to draw we're going to pretend like the noodles are all connected together, but they kind of come down into the bowl and then come back out and make this really cool pattern. So there's our first noodle. And then we're going to draw another shape or curve that matches it, but smaller inside. And this is the width of our noodle, our first noodle. So we're going to try to match that same width every time we draw another line. So I'm going to try to leave that same space for our next noodle. Yes. Good job. Now let's draw our first chopstick. And we're going to draw it coming out diagonal to the side. So we're going to come up like this. Yeah. And then we're going to draw another diagonal line right next to it. But we can get a little thicker towards the end. So I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to get a little thicker as I come out. That's probably too thick. But that's okay. <laughs> no mistakes, right? No mistakes. Yeah. Now we can draw a curve to connect these two diagonal lines together. And we could also make our chopsticks fancy by adding a little design on them. Nice. Now let's draw more noodles before we draw the other chopstick. So I'm going to start here. And this time, I'm going to imagine it going behind the chopstick. If you want, you could draw these lines with pencil. It's a little easier to just draw through the chops the chopstick instead of imagining it going behind. So we also want to leave that same space that we left here. And then we're going to come down. Yeah. And then let's add another one. We'll imagine it going behind. Awesome. Now we could draw another. Oh, you even have extra room down here. You could add another. So that's a really thick um, noodle. <laughs> there you go. And then we can draw even let's draw another one right here. I'm going to draw another layer of noodles and we'll leave a little space and then I'll draw another one. And I'm going to come down and connect to the end of the bowl. Yeah. Now let's draw the other chopstick and we're drawing it behind these noodles. So I'm going to draw another diagonal line coming up this time a little further. And then we're going to do the same thing, get a little thicker towards the end and try to match. Mine got a little thicker than this one. And then we're going to draw the curve that comes around and connects those two lines together. And then we can add those four lines for the design. One, two, three, four. Now let's come over here and we can add more noodles on the side, on the side. Oh, I'm going to draw it right here. Oh, and then maybe this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to draw another noodle, but it's going to taper. So it's going to be thin and then get thicker. So they don't always have to be this parallel design like a rainbow. You could also taper them like that. Let's draw one more layer of noodles. Well, I'm going to draw the big one first. And then I'm going to draw the other lines inside of that first one. In this traditional dish, sometimes there's other stuff like vegetables or chives like onions. And we could add extra things. Oh, I know what I'm going to add. I'm going to add a heart. <laughs> this just represents longevity, right? Something or it like can, that. or love. Or love. Yeah. I'm going to add another heart over here, too. And then maybe we could even add some chives. I'm going to draw a little rectangle shape right here. And maybe a rectangle shape that's kind of sticking out this side. Oh, and then maybe one over here too. 
Nice, now let's add more noodles. I'm gonna draw a line that goes behind the heart right here and then connects to that chive. If your drawings look a little different than ours, you added the hearts in different places or you added different kinds of vegetables, you can just fill in more noodles any way you want. You don't have to follow exactly how we're doing it. Now, maybe this noodle, I'm gonna draw it kind of wavy like this. It's gonna have another little bump on it. We'll come here to this chopstick and then I'm gonna curve down. Then I'm gonna make another line right below it that matches the waviness. And then I'm also gonna add maybe another one that comes behind this chopstick right here. Now we could add even more noodles, but I think we should leave it just like this. Let's connect the bowl, the left side, into the noodle. So we're gonna extend this line, the side of the bowl up and then into the noodles. That makes it look more 3D. Now down here, let's draw the bottom of our bowl. We're gonna draw two lines coming down from the bottom. And then we can connect those lines together with a curve. Now let's add our funny face to the bowl. I'm gonna draw the mouth first. I'm gonna draw a funny mouth, cute mouth like this. And then we can draw the letter U for the mouth. And then we could also add a little tongue. And then I'm gonna draw a circle for the left eye and a circle to match for the other eye. We can also draw the highlight in the top left of each eye and color in the big circle. And we did it. We finished drawing our longevity noodles, except we're not completely done. Nope, we still need to color it. Yes. We'll fast forward this part, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our longevity noodles and they turned out really cute and super tasty too. I'm really hungry now. I want noodles. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match your same coloring or you can color it any way you want. You could also add your own design to the bowl. Yeah, and also even add more toppings. Ooh, you could even draw yourself getting ready to eat the noodles. If you have the same marker set and you want to use the same colors that we used, we picked out 26 is a light yellow for the noodle color and then we used 46 green and 15 red yeah for the toppings then we used 103 brown for the chopsticks 15 red for the details and 35 yellow for the top yeah and then we also used for the bowl 23 orange we hope you had fun drawing your longevity noodles we do we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and remember it's okay if your drawings look different than ours i hope they do because both of our drawings turned out different and they both turn out awesome the most important thing is to have fun and to practice yes remember to have fun and practice and we'll see you later our friends goodbye, goodbye.